Hello friends, now let's solve the perfect squares problem. Let's see a statement. Given a positive integer n, find the least number of perfect square numbers, for example, 1, 4, 9, 16, which sum to n. Let's see the example, n equal to 12. And uh, the result should be 3. Well, how to think about this problem? Uh, we are oh, sorry. Uh, we are given 12. Then we will the very intuitive ways we try uh, every perfect square number that is less than 12. So we will try 1 and try 4 and 9. So basically we will if we if we use 1 uh, then we will try to find the, the minimum squares uh, 11 right which is 12 minus 1. And uh, if we use 4, we will use minimum squares, try to find minimum squares, and use 12 minus 4. And uh, then we will keep uh, find. So for this 8, we will still need to find the minimum square number less or equal than 8. And then we will uh, also try to find the minimum uh, squares that will be the 8 minus 1, right? Uh, and uh, what if we try 4 plus 4 plus minimum squares? That will be 8 minus 4. It's 4, right? So you will see they have many overlapping subproblems. So the obvious solution is to catch the result. And also, this problem has an optimal feature, which is to find least number. So you will, um, you will have to come up with the dynamic programming um, solution because DP is very suitable for the optimal optimal substructure and the overlapping subproblems. Um, so. How to find the relation? Basically, it's the same like the recursion. The difference is that you you catch the result of the previous problem. So, as we want to find the least number of polysquare numbers of n, we will need need a integer array, and the size should be the n plus one. Why? Because we only can find the, use the positive integer. And first. Uh, we need to initialize the dp with n. Uh, the reason is that we want to find the least number, so we should uh, initialize the array to the largest uh, value as possible. And uh, also, for any given integer like the 14, we can always make up this perfect square by just uh, use 15, 1. So the, the maximum number should be the size of n. And uh, dp0 should be initialized to 0. And uh, dp1 should be 1, right? The, because the least number to make up 0 and 1 should be 0, 1. And we just uh, try to make up uh, let i start from 1, i less equal than n, i plus plus. The meaning is that so we try to find the least number to make up i and i will start from 1 to the n. The reason that we can think like this way is that the following element will not be affected, oh sorry, the previous element will not be affected by the following following element. What's that mean? If we, we can find the minimum number to make up these four, even if we will calculate 5 outwards, the minimum number to make up 4 will not be affected by, by the 5 and by the 6, so on and so forth. So the, uh, which means the previous elements are independent. So, um, and then we will, for each given element i, we will try to use the perfect squares to make up it. So we should use uh, j times j less or equal than i. What, the reason we use the equal because uh, they all may be the one, so we can use the 
equal j plus plus and we want to make up this i right so the minimum number to make up this i will equal to the dpi minus j times j plus one what does that mean because in this case we use a perfect square number which is j times j right so we should uh, uh, use the number minus this value plus one because we can only use one element to make up this uh, j times j so at last we just return this dp um, and okay thank you for watching see you next time